DJ's in the house, but uh, she's going to take a minute to find her laptop and join us. In the meantime, I can just talk to you about things and stuff. It doesn't take too long, I hope. You can let Maggie out, too, if she comes around, but she's not. Don't let anybody else out. No, no, stop. Grab him. Try that one more time. Sorry, everybody. Had a little maple incident. Uh, maple really likes to run from you when you try to bring her back in the room. So uh, that's a little rough. But we got her. Okay. Let me check my camera angles. Hey, I'm looking good. You can see me just fine. And look. Today's going to be, oh my god, there we go, today's going to be, I can't fit it all at once, oh no, it says today's going to be productive, yes, so, and it is, it's going to be one of those productive days, we've got a lot going on, we got the mailbag starting any minute now when DJ comes back with her uh, laptop, and then after that, uh, we have, <laughs> uh, we have Crabapple and Larch getting adopted sometime this afternoon. They were saying one or two in the afternoon. Um, they're already uh, in the, the area, but I think maybe they're going to go to lunch or something. I hope they do. They've got some extra time to kill. So using that up front, excuse me. Oh, okay. That was going to be a sneeze. Using that time up front makes sense that way that uh, the, the cats can hang out here. Um, on top of that, I think that Jimmy and Jenny and Carrie Ann from On Angel's Wings are all going to drop by, uh, maybe during the adoption or shortly, uh, you know, around that time. So it's going to be a busy afternoon here at the Kitten Academy. Uh, what else is news that I can tell you about while we're waiting for DJ? Uh, uh, all right, 
Sweet. Come on in, have a seat. Hi, Figgy. Hi, oh, look at you being a fig. Yeah. Fine. That's just great. Okay. People are going to appreciate that. Yes. Look at this fig. Hi, Figgy. Figgy, Figgy. Oh, hi. Okay, you ready with this? Where's your laptop? Oh my god, get started. Uh-huh. Alright, there's some letters in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find those first. Hi, Figgy. Since that is the tradition. Excellent. And we'll just start here with this orange one. So here we've got a card with a very sparkly black cat, and it says Happy Meow Halloween. Is it just sparkly or is it oh, very gosh. sparkly? And uh, on the inside we have a what appears to be a very generous donation. Uh, wow. And uh, the card says, Mr. A, DJ, Kitten Academy staff, and students, <coughs> hope you're up to your whiskers in fun. Thank you for all that you do. The world needs more people like you. Smiley face. Uh, happy Halloween from Laura, and then it says, tried to get my two black cats to sit for a picture, but they had other plans. Boy, do we know how that is. You know, um, I, I get a fair number of compliments on the photography that I do of our cats, but I don't think anybody would compliment me if they knew what goes on behind the scenes, which is, uh, I take roughly a thousand photos for every one that I end up publishing. It's so hard. I mean, you just got to keep going taking all the pictures you can until you finally get one that works out. So, uh, believe me, I know how it is. Uh, all right, so here we have our weekly mail from Mr. Elso Cat. And here we have a cat too, but we also have something else. Um, looks like some riddles. Interesting. Well, let's start with the cat too. The cat too says, red eyes glowing in the dark. The rat is cornered. Let's think this over. Wait, what? You're thinking it over? No. Um, I know. I know you don't watch the stream, Doobie. Um, <laughs> all right, here we have I'm the riddles. I'm watching it right now. The riddles are, who is the first ghost to visit Ebenezer Scrooge? Uh, what play of Shakespeare's begins with the entrance of the three witches? Complete the film titles, The Ghost and Mr. Blank, and The Ghost and Mrs. Blank. Um, I have had three cups of coffee this morning, and that is not enough to fathom these riddles. So hopefully there's something that will, uh... Oh, I see. Well, you gave me some stuff to take care of last night, and I did <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, so our answers to the first ghost to visit, I mean, these, these are not, uh, I thought they may, maybe were riddles with answers that I was trying to be too clever about, but the answer sheet is right here, and the first ghost to visit Ebenezer Scrooge is Marley's ghost, the play of Shakespeare's that begins with the three witches is Macbeth, and it's the ghost and Mr. Chicken and the ghost and Mrs. Muir, which are not ones that I'm actually familiar with, the others I should have known. Here we have a bat. Thank you so much, Mr. Elso Cat. And here we have a challenging design by Amy Wagner. A cat pumpkin design to carve into your pumpkin. It's pretty cool, but it does look kind of challenging. And uh, i got to be honest, I think I've mentioned this before. We don't decorate for Halloween anymore. Um, we used to when we first moved in. We tried. No, we didn't. What? We tried. You don't remember us buying pumpkins, gourds, and a bale of hay? No, uh, we just did that because we've, we've never done that before. Right. So
So when we first moved in, we tried to decorate. When we first moved in, we tried to do um, uh, not just decorations, but uh, we bought, you know, like a bowl of candy for the local neighborhood kids when they would come by. And they don't. Nobody comes by. I don't know why. You know, I talk about sometimes how rural this area is, but it's not that rural. We're on a street with plenty of houses. There's kids in the neighborhood. Um, they just don't come to our house. It could be. DJ's theory is they don't come to this part of the street. My theory is that our house is a little too legitimately Halloween y. Um, if, you, uh, if you see the outside of our house, it's covered in cobwebs and uh, the garden is kind of unkempt. And it sort of looks like the house where uh, you know, a horror movie would take place. So uh, it's, and it's legit, it's that way year round. So they're probably like, this guy didn't decorate for Halloween, it's just a place to stay away from. Uh, and I guess I'm fine with that, fundamentally, you know? Deterrent. Uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Elsacat also included uh, awesome, creepy quotes. It's like a game uh, where you've got to match uh, movie quotes, I guess, or uh, figure out which movies they're from, I should say. And an answer key, thank goodness, so we'll know. But that is, uh, I think, just for us, so we'll have fun with that later on. Thank you so much, Mr. Elsocat. There you go, DJ. All right, I always look forward to getting the email, uh, the mail, I'm sorry, it's not email. It's hard to say mail these days without putting an E in front of it. Oh, uh, let's just hop right ahead to this. This is uh, what you would call junk mail that came to Kitten Academy this week. Normally, oh. normally I would just ignore it, but it looks like the... Uh, targeted. Yes, this is a Bradford Exchange exclusive, and something tells me that somebody somewhere has got us on one of those computerized lists that says send cat cute. people to send cat things to these people because they will buy it. Can so I, I thought that was funny that you know th these days they keep databases of all this stuff and they know it's artwork. Uh, they know how to send endearing you stuff. Kitten artwork. Yes, endearing. Wait, so what is it? Wow. Oh, oh. So this is um, this is a letter that we got from the Burns. The, that's the adopters of um, Tahini. Tahini. Yes, the adopters of Tahini. So this, oh first God, off, so this card is called. Um, the, it, I don't know how well you can see that cat. I hope you can see it well enough. It's a beautiful card, and the cat is is three D. Okay. Can I get it? No, you can't. Can I buy it? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Look at what she's. Cool. He's showing I, love I, the cool I, I know. And it has so, kittens on it. Yes. Okay. So here we have a kitten clock, kitten cuckoo clock. This, this is what is DJ is so, so excited about. I'm sure it's. Crazy. It's over one and a half feet high. Adorable kitten art by famed artist Jurgen Scholz. Hmm. Oh, features a swinging brass toned pendulum. It's not a real brass, of course, because that would cost money. It's brass toned pendulum. And decorative pine cones, probably real pine cones because they're cheap, that hang from golden chains as a sculpted kitten takes a ride. That is the best part about this is, you know, if you know, uh, they use the pine cones in a traditional uh, grand, uh, cuckoo clock to, to they're the weights that, that provide the force for the clock to operate. And there's a kitten hanging on one, which is really cute. Can I get um, it? Can I get it? They sent it. Us. Yeah, it well, mean they want us to get it. Okay, let's let's have this conversation at another time. Um, Maybe i The thing, so I've got to interrupt this card from from the Burns. I'm sorry about that. Um, when DJ says she loves cuckoo clocks, though, she's not kidding. I've got to tell you that in my first trip to India, um, you know, I, I can't you can't describe what it's like to go to another country and and have anybody understand what it's really like. So all I can tell you is that I was in this strange place where everything was just different. An alien and foreign in, in a way that's, that's just impossible for me to explain. Um, and then I walk into DJ's family house for the first time and in the living room, their living room is, is practically bare. It's, it's a very Indian way of living. There's, there's almost nothing in it. There's a, there's a TV on the wall and there is a sofa on the opposite end of the room, and the entire middle of the room is empty. And it is for reasons, because there, it's, it's more common for you to sit on the floor to do everything. Like, uh, mom would come into the living room with a cutting board and chop her vegetables on the floor. 
just to be part of the family while she's doing it. Or, you know, if you're going to grind a coconut, you do it in the middle of the living room floor, because why not? Very often you eat. Grind a coconut. That's an Indian thing to do. She, I've seen her grind coconut in the middle of the living room like floor, so it's not just... It like yeah, I mean, use that grinder like thing to... Thing. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Uh, so my point being, here you are in this room that is almost completely empty. There's a recognizable TV in it. There's something that looks like an Indian that kind of sofa in it. Completely bare. Except, on one wall, there is a, a completely incongruous, out-of-place cuckoo clock. It is the strangest thing that you've ever seen in your life. Just, is it? It's, it that is. That is the strangest thing A cuckoo you've clock ever seen in that in location life. is completely bizarre. It makes no sense. <laughs> so, anyway, it was it was really weird. Uh, so here we are, back to the Burns' card. It is a quilling card, and quilling, it explains on the back of the card, is, is this art form of basically you roll up little pieces of paper, little tiny thin pieces of paper. That's actually 3D rolled up pieces of paper. Wow. And it's beautiful. It's very neatly textured and it's a beautiful cat looking at a butterfly, of course. And I love this card. It's awesome. And inside we have... Aww. Inside we have... I, I think this is. So I know They're this so is sweet. extremely thoughtful. They must have asked Jimmy and Jimmy or something. How else could you have done this? They sent us a gift certificate for How the green. How did they know that? That's what I said. How could they possibly know? What? They sent us a gift certificate for Green Peapod, which is one of the only decent restaurants in the area that will deliver to us, and uh, Thai food, which is uh, another thing that's incongruously out of place in an area like this. Oh, thank God. Uh, yes, but yes, thank goodness that we have one thing that is so out of place and wonderful. Anyway, they also included a note that says, Dear Chris and DJ, we wanted to thank you once again for taking such good care of Tahini. She is just the sweetest girl and a wonderful addition to our cat family. We appreciate all you do for the kitties you foster. It was a pleasure to meet both of you. We hope all of DJ's rotations go well. If you are ever in the Springfield area for a meeting or a just want to be tourists, please let us know. Uh, sincerely, the Burns. Well, thank you so much. It's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful sentiment, and uh, I, am, I am a little curious about how you knew to get us a green peapod gift certificate, but that will get used almost immediately. Yeah, like um, probably tonight. Quite potentially, yes, tonight. Oh, I see what this. Is. All paper? Yeah, quilling. They call that art form quilling. Did Isn't that really know cool? That? I only knew it because we've gotten one card before with quilling on it. Yes. So cool. That's the only reason I knew. Okay, I'm okay. already sorting this so we can put these on the cardboard. Good. Okay, good. I, uh, I've got to get hopping on this because I don't want to have to carry anything over another week. But we have a lot to go through. So, oh, oh, this is fun. Here we have one from uh, Japan. Is that from Sarah in Japan? It is from Sarah in Japan. Yes, DJ knows. Oh, okay, let's see what we got here. Hi, Maple Cutter. Gotta open this a little carefully because there's paper and stuff all over the Now we have a menu. Yeah, that is strange. You know, this is, they, they included a green peapod menu, I guess, in case we needed it, or maybe they got it. And it's so weak. We don't have Yeah, one. that's funny because there's no there's no official green peapod menu online, and uh, therefore this is the first time I think we've seen one of their real menus. The 17th one, how did they get this? Wow, what did we have wrapped in all this? This is beautiful. It's just so tidy. How okay. did they get this? Oh, okay. Get it in the mail? No, they must have gone there. On the 17th? No, I don't know. This is so cute. We have a mouse pad with a cat wearing a bow tie. Look at this mouse pad. Huh? I know. That's adorable. Yeah, for kitty. Oh, so here we go. Lucy the cat and little brother. I think this may be the sequel. Um, to uh, Lucy the cat that we got previously, which is wonderful. First off, this letterhead. How adorable is this with all these calico cats on it? It's so cute. Kitten Academy, dear Mr. A and DJ, thank you so much for all your wonderful dedications and excellent job. 
I'm glad you enjoyed our Lucy the Cat, and hope you will also like your little brother, Cristiano, as well. He was named after Cristiano Ronaldo, the famous soccer player, since he loves him. Pope Pimentin, uh, where he admires the player, will be a clear proof. Oh, page 19, I see. Cristiano also likes Formula One and enjoys a race hoping to meet top drivers such as Kimi Raikkonen and Fernando Alonso on page 21, and he lifts weights to be stronger to join them on page 22. Both Lucy and Cristiano look like your mom, cats, and kitten, don't they? I'm so glad your eucalyptus has gotten much better and do hope your current kittens will find kind and nice foster families just like you. And our Lucy the Cat Volume 3 is also looking forward to visiting you soon. Please take care and have a beautiful week and enjoy the cat mouse pet as well. Sincerely, Sarah. Wow. So Sarah translates these um, and probably um, also knows the people involved or I don't... I don't know exactly the relationship here, but that's not important. The important thing is that Sarah is listed as the translator on these Lucy books. This is Lucy the Cat and Little Brother, and it's bilingual, it's Japanese and English. Every page is written uh, both in English and in Japanese. Probably very handy to learn the language, the written language. And let's see, I want to look at page 20. Oh, look, Lily Cat's mom pointed this out, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, give me one second. Here she is, this is the Lifting Weights page, which I thought sounded adorable, and that's so cute, isn't it? What a tiny little floof. This is such a great thing. Cristiano is adorable. These are amazing. Uh, thank you so much for sending us part two. I can't wait to look through it all. I was just looking through, actually, because we have people adopting today, I was going back through some mailbag stuff to get it all organized, which I'm always behind on. And I was just looking through Lucy the Cat Part 1 that you sent us last night. So this is really, really cute. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's, it's wonderful and adorable. And I'm going to put it back in the envelope so that we keep it safe until I've had a chance to go through it and organize it. So what were you noticing? Um, Lily Cat's mom mentioned the, the stamps. Oh, the, the eclipse stamps? Mm -hmm. Put your finger on it. What? Heat sensitive. <gasps> Oh my goodness, the stamps are heat sensitive. When you put your finger on them, they change from a black spot to showing the moon in that spot. Wow, that's fancy. Those are some fancy stamps right there. Fancy stampsy. Fancy stampsy, wow. Okay, I gotta open a box so we have a place to put stuff that we're getting rid of. And this box has been hanging around since last week, and it seems so unfair because it's a beautiful box. Um, it's decorated with cats and meows and high candy and stickers. It's just awesome. This is, this is a great box and it comes to us from Canada. And I have been looking at this in the kitchen all week and wondering what is in it and excited to open it up. And now is my chance. So let's get into this to see what we've got. Okay. I don't want to reveal any addresses on accident. Let me turn it this way. That should be relatively safe. Is okay. my foot in your way? Not yet. Okay. This says, okay to read on stream, tissue paper for kittens, and it is sealed with a little Halloween spider. This says, happy me Halloween from Taz. Oh, Taz and Kitty. Yes, Taz, oh, and Kitty, it says on the inside. There we go. Mr. A and DJ, every weekend we look forward to watching Mailbag. It starts 12 p.m. our time. This parcel is all Halloween, and I hope DJ is able to join the Mailbag today. I know most of the time she can, but you never know. She might have to study. There's something for everyone in this parcel, treats, etc. Just a little treat shouldn't hurt your diet too much. As you can see on the card, Taz and Kitty are going to be themselves for Halloween. Taz, Taz is a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I, get, I get it. Taz is a Tasmanian devil, and Kitty is a cat. <laughs> well, that's an oh, easy costume, so isn't it? <laughs> right. But I like the fact that the, if you look at Kitty, Kitty is wearing a cat's tail as, yeah. as her costume. 
So she she actually did dress up for this. That's um, so funny. I tried to get a good pic of Taz and Kitty together in pumpkin costume. Didn't work out this time. Kitty did not want to look at the camera, and Taz got tired of waiting. LOL. That pic is on the back of the card. Oh, I see. Well, that's they are both wearing pumpkins, and that's actually a very good picture, even though Kitty's looking away. I think that's great. <sighs> Oh, cool. uh, I did manage to get a pick by themselves. I enclosed those picks. The same costume is in this parcel. <gasps> what? Hoping one of the faculty cats will wear and pose for a pick. Looking forward to seeing it. Give all the faculty cats, kittens, and Elsie a hug and a kiss from us. Happy Meowloween from Erica, <laughs> Linda, Taz, and Kitty. Enjoy. So, first off, let me say, I am excited about this costume. Now, I have... A box. It's it's a big box too of cat costumes and accessories that I would like to use to take more pictures of cats. Um, I started the box last Halloween, and if you do look on our site, there's some Halloween pictures that are kind of cute that I got. It is a struggle, and you take wonderful photos, but I feel your pain trying to get these. Here's Kitty. Um, anyway. It is definitely in my immediate plans. I think tomorrow. Tomorrow's the only day. Yeah. I think, then it'll be too late. Right, right. It's the same thing I did last year. I think I took the pictures maybe even on Halloween day. Um, so I think tomorrow I plan on getting out the costume box and just trying everything on every cat until I get some good pictures out of it. We'll see how it goes. So here we have a postcard from St. John, New Brunswick. From early summer to late fall, lots of cruise ships port for the day. We live five to ten minutes away. How beautiful. Wow, that must be fantastic. Here we have another one that says St. John, New Brunswick. And then we have something wrapped up separately here. What is this? Oh, I see. I see. It's explaining the postcards. I think some of the postcards came out of here, though. Because it says... Original built bridge 1885, replacement built 1922, reversing falls bridge. Oh, maybe that's just this one. Okay, I see. Reversing falls bridge. Got it. Reversing falls bridge is located in West St. John. For us, it's about a 10 to 20 minute drive away. The city has a speedboat to give anyone, including tourists, a ride around the reversing falls. A restaurant is located on the cliff just off the bridge. We enclosed a write up on that. The restaurant has been renovated and a skywalk has been built. Huh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Twice daily, can you believe this? Listen to this. Twice daily, the tides of the Bay of Fundy reach such heights that they actually force the St. John River to change direction. The rapids at the mouth of the river actually change direction and thus oh, wow. are called the reversing falls. Mm. Like they go up? Yeah. Well, not up anymore, <laughs> it's, but it makes down be the opposite way. See, see, normally they go this way, but then the yeah. water on this side gets so high it goes that way. Twice a day. How cool is that? Wow, there's some awesome stuff out there in nature that you just you never think about. It makes perfect sense, but I did not realize there was such a place. That's really cool. Okay, well, we have a big package to dig into here. So, let's see what we got. I thought I could use this box to get rid of some trash, but clearly I'm going to have to go to one of the dropship boxes for that. This is not going to work out. Look, we have Halloween tissue papers. Oh, wow. Okay. So cool. I'm going to leave these out, and then we're going to put them in the, the space station or something, I think. Okay, this is just packed full of stuff. I don't know where to start. Uh, oh, okay. So here we have something is very... Here we have a very practical gift, Lysol disinfecting wipes, which we use constantly. Time, uh, yep, I constantly, constantly. A literal used. metric time. Oh, I think I just got a message from the birds. No, I didn't ask anyone about the restaurant. You mentioned the evening we got back, and you couldn't decide between Ty and Jimmy John's. I see. Wow. Wow, and very they clever. Did some they did some research and they research. figured it out. Research is the word. Yes. Oh my god, I love these pictures of Captain 
I know. Those are, she's are great photographers. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it's got a note, but I'm going to tear the note. Why don't you not tear the note? Why don't I not? Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. This pop can can only be purchased in the Martins. If you like ginger, you will like this pop. A refreshing drink anytime, but it's very helpful for stomach upset. One for each of you. Chill and enjoy. Nice. Look at that. That looks like some extremely legitimate ginger ale. Uh, I am actually a fan of ginger ale. I don't have it very often. Uh, it's, it's a rarity, but when, every time I have it, I enjoy it. So um, I think that will be fun. Isn't it? How else would you pronounce it? You don't have a British pronounce it, No, I actually don't. But okay, here is the 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 costume, by the way, for the faculty. I know the package has a dog on it, but it also fits cats. Yes, a lot of the costumes that I have for cats are small dog costumes, and they work out very well. Oh, look, I've got a bag here for trash. Perfect. Ideal. Okay. Okay, here we have to Mr. A and DJ, Marshmallow Cat, a chocolate-covered marshmallow cat. Oh, my goodness. And uh, there's a little picture of it in the corner. Sweet Magic Marshmallow Cat, chocolate-covered marshmallow. Nom, and it's a cat, too. I mean, what could be more perfect? Treats for kittens or the faculty cats, wellness kittles, Salmon and cranberry recipe. That's very Thanksgiving. How appropriate. Here we have candies that say, For Mr. A. Oh no, somebody remembered. I didn't know this was a thing though. So every Easter, one of the things that I love and really shouldn't have are Cadbury mini eggs. And it's one of the things that I love about Easter. It's the only time I thought that you can get Cadbury mini eggs. But apparently now they're selling them as a Halloween snack as well. Cadbury mini eggs What's Halloween. That? Ginger ale? Yeah. Ginger ale is oh I'm sorry, I didn't read off the brand name. It's Sussex Golden Ginger Ale. Sussex Golden. Wow. How cool is that? Um okay, moving right along. Oh, I think I think I pulled off the note on this one. Aww. Uh, this says, for the kittens would like them to have meow. So oh, we'll wow. give it to them right meow. We'll just toss these back here. I don't know where everybody is, by the way. If we let, if we let Baba Ganoush in here, he might stir things up a little bit. These are cool. So we've got the, these, these tubes we see a lot of. But this is a, kind of the same material. Oh, and it's yeah. just... Yes, but it's longer and it's, it wants to bounce places. Oh, where did that go? Okay. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I'll just add this right over here. Two kitty tubes. Um, okay, here we have, oh, for DJ. DJ, somebody really has been paying attention to the stream for a while. So they knew to send me Cadbury mini eggs and to send this for DJ. You know what it is? No. How would I? Oh, cotton candy! Cotton candy! Cotton candy! One of DJ's favorite things. Wow. I bet you're going to have some right now. Yep, of course. Here we have a pack of sticky notes. As you know, we go through quite a few of these trying to obscure people's addresses, so I appreciate that yeah. greatly. Well, Can I have a tiny piece of your cotton candy? I shouldn't, but I didn't have breakfast yet, so I'm just going to. Oh, that's good stuff. <gasps> the DJ Kinder Surprise Eggs a Limited Edition Halloween Toys. Whoa. Wow. This is another thing that we haven't talked about in a while. You cannot get Kinder Surprise Eggs in the United States. And I guess the reason is that if you are an American kid, you are not smart enough to not just eat the whole thing and choke to death on the toy. Um, having been an American kid myself, I can vouch that that's probably true. Um... Okay, so this is cute. I think you guys have seen us feed our cats in little paper trays like this. Oh my god, those are real. Yeah, but these are... Are they real? Yeah, they're real. I mean, I know everything is real, but... 
They're they're real. This is not virtual. They're not CGI. Okay. They are. They're little paper trays. But the coolest thing, first off, is a really cute pattern. It's a big tray. We like that. But secondly, they include matching little paper or wax napkins to put in there to line them. How cute is that? That's completely adorable. Thank you so much. We have, ooh, oh. We have a local circular flyer. Uh, I think they call these circulars. Um, yeah. It's got all of the, uh, the sales. And it said, yeah, what you said. It says, we thought it'd be cool to send you a couple of our flyers. Oh, Erica works at Shoppers Drug Mart. We even sent a couple shopping bags from both stores. Oh, I see oh. Shoppers Drug Mart. Well, I'm using it as a trash bag already. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I guess I wasn't going to keep it forever. Still, I'm excited to look, take a look through this. You know, this is just like I said. It's, uh, it's seeing uh, things that are just a little bit different in a different place. So on top of that, we have... Canadian Living. Hang on, I was getting to that. The Weekly Current. Oh, I thought it was current. I know, you could definitely say current, but I believe it's trying to go for current. The Weekly That's Current. Current. The Weekly Current. All right. Henceforth, The Weekly Current. And a copy of Real Life Made Simple, Canadian Living. Fantastic. I'm excited to read that, especially because it's got recipes for feel-good comfort food. I'm curious to know what Canadian living comfort food would be. That should be very interesting. Mispronounced uh, the postcard location. I think it was the postcard that said that. Uh, here we also have the most adorable cat stickers. At least I think these are my favorite. These are super cute. Take a look at these. Current events. Current events. Yes. Oh my god, these are so much Aren't those great? Oh my god. Those are some oh, of the best cat. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to pack some of this back up so that I've got some room to show you the last thing. Look. Look. I know, Aww. I know, those are, they're adorable. They're, those are really, really cute. Now. Oh my god, I just want to eat these, they're so cute. <laughs> Stick to eating the cotton candy, one thing at a time. So okay, there was one more thing in here, it says fragile, which I think makes it Italian. Mm. And, let's see what we got. I had too much coffee this morning. Oh. Oh my goodness. So this is a very special uh, Kinder Surprise Egg. Wow. This is a Kinder Surprise Egg that specifically is Star Wars branded and has a Star Wars toy inside. I am so excited. I'm not going to, I don't, I don't want to open this right now. But Why not? I, I kind of do. I'm going to save it though. I'm going to save this. And is, that, is that a can? That's a Kinder Surprise Egg. It is. Yeah. It is. It's an official Kinder Surprise Egg, but it's Star Wars branded. Which is completely awesome. I didn't know they did branded Kinder Surprise Eggs. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Star and tie-ins. Yeah. Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Aw, to Elsie, we purchased this treat from the pet store, and it smells so yummy. Aw. Wow, it does. It is a like a sort of a Day of the Dead kind of decorated skull. To me, anyway, that's what it looks like. But I know it's Halloween themed. But it's just got that sort of style about it. It's very pretty. It's got like almost flowers for eyes. No, it's kind of hard to see, I know, because the wrapping paper has pumpkins on it. How did I say it. that? It's in uh, Spanish? Uh, I don't know. More taste. Good job. Yeah, you got it. I think... I think he's judging my lack of international style. I know. I'm such a white American. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. That's all awesome stuff. I can't wait to try out that costume. It is so cute. 
and everything else you send is wonderful. I can't believe how well you know what to send us. Sending me those mini eggs and sending DJ the Kinder Surprise eggs and the cotton candy. I haven't talked about that stuff in a long time. So I'm super impressed. That's really, really cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to slide this over to DJ because it's got your address and stuff on it. She's keeping all that in the mailbag box. So. There we go. Okay. Wow. Um, let's I try that. I, mm -hmm. I need to do something with these. They're so cute. I what know. do I do? She's, she's, you can't see her. She's talking about the stickers. The stickers are so cute. Those are... I think we get we get a fair amount of cat stickers, and DJ uses them on things. Um, but those, I think, are maybe the cutest. Those are so adorable. <laughs> she's really, she's really digging them. Okay, well, I have a little bit of a trash bag going, so I'm just going to keep opening some mail, and we'll see how long it takes to fill that up. The shoppers, uh, the shoppers prescription, shoppers drug mark, sorry. Shoppers prescription. What? It's got a little mortar and pestle there. It's like the universal sign for prescription or pharmacy. We don't say drug mark here. Okay, uh, here we have interesting, interesting. A priority mail contains a priority mail. <gasps> what is this? These look like. Fancy, oh, they're like, like laser um, cut. Um, iron on. Maybe they're iron on. Well, let's find out. I'm sure that their letter in here is going to tell us exactly. There's a Kitten Academy logo. They might be iron ons or stickers. It's hard to tell from just by looking. But inside it says Dear Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for the mom cats and kittens and the faculty and Elsie and those of us who seek refuge in Kitten Academy. Keep on orange tubin. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Four stars. Okay, I'm sorry I revealed it. Uh, my girlfriend, Dee, made these for a Duders or Kitten Academy con or for you and DJ and the Jimmy and Jenny um, D's. Spruce, Jimmy and Jenny D's. Nice. <laughs> yes. Spruce up your cars, laptops, fancy phones. It's a short note because I want to get these to you before KA Con. If folks want more, we can figure out a way to get them to you no, and get no. KA cash money. Give Hannah Banana Spoogle from me, Sport Dog on Discord, aka Jennifer. And inside Jennifer D, Batman, Jasper, and Mojo. Hang on, hang on. I need the key kitten. I will give this to you right now and you can look at it all you like. So they are stickers. And I haven't uh, talked as much about this as about my new phone, which, by the way, I like, even though it is just full of bugs. I'm sure they will fix them. It's been all over the news. Whole other story. Um, these are obviously stickers, then. And um, my point in bringing up the, what I haven't talked about is I also got a brand new laptop. And one of these is going on it for sure. Thank you so much. Set those someplace where I will find them. Yes. Here, let me take, if you're done with this envelope, let me get rid of this, though. We don't need this whole one. Thank you so much for sending those. Oh, my gosh, Sport Dog. That is the coolest. Um, that's that's really, really, really cool. I am really excited about that. I would put one on my phone, my new phone, but there's, there's no, well, maybe there's room down here at the bottom. I can think about it. I don't know if I'm keeping this case or not, though, so we'll see. We'll see. Definitely one on the laptop. laptop. I can put one on it, but then maybe we should give it to people that can't come. Like maybe, yeah. Okay, here we have a drop shipment from Stickers and T-Shirts, LLC. I feel like I sent DJ a message from somebody that sent me a message to say that they sent this and didn't include a note. Of course, I say that quite a bit. A lot of people send me that message and say, hey, I sent you something. I wasn't able to include a note. Amen. Wait, no, here's one right here. Okay. Okay. Mr. A, I haven't been on the stream much lately. Oh, no. Oh, it's a demand letter, even. It's a very demanding letter. Creepy reindeer sent us a letter. <laughs> Mr. A, I haven't been on the stream this much so lately. Funny. So you will wear you will wear this to remind people of my awesomes. Sincerely, Creepy Reindeer. <laughs> 
I don't know about this. All I know is now creepy reindeer is like 10 times creepier. Wow. The only thing that could have made this letter creepier is if it was written by cutting out letters from a magazine yes. and paste like a ransom note. Wow. Do we have an address for creepy reindeer? I, I don't think we do. Uh, the North Pole? <laughs> the, the Annex? <laughs> All right. What is it? <gasps> it just says... That is so funny! It just says got reindeers? Oh my God. Wow. That is completely cool. Creepy Reindeer, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Creepy Reindeer. Yes. We don't know who you are. We don't know who you are, but I do know that you have become much creepier today. Wow. I, I thought that you were on some sort of a campaign to like prove to people that you weren't creepy. Uh, you blew it. This is yeah, super creepy. Really like On the other hand, I'm totally going to wear that t-shirt. Thank you so much. That's so cool. <laughs> if there's any of you that happen to be like tuning in today and have no idea what's going on with the creepy reindeer, um, we do have had a creepy reindeer that has been hanging around this room since last Christmas. Oh. And every time it turns up, people, Look at this. Yes, people comment on how creepy it is. Well, in the couple mailbags ago, People sent in a whole bunch of companion creepy reindeers, so now we have an entire family plus two creepy owls. So they're multiplying, and uh, now I've got the t-shirt to go with it. It's a little out of control. Okay. Uh, DJ just walked out, and I need her to catalog stuff. She's going to fall behind. Well, that's fine. Let's just... She'll catch up when she comes back in. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Very interesting. From, oh, from Australia, even. Custard coming? Yes, uh, sure. Custard can if he comes in and he's nice, but keep an eye out. He's a little big for these guys. Okay, so from Australia. First off, we have a copy of... Oh, there's the creepy reindeer. Yes. Okay. Living in Brisbane, I would say Brisbane. I, I, I'm not sure how Australians pronounce it. I'm just trying to sound casual. It's got some sticky notes in it, too, that says, In Australia, a name for a non-drinker is Wowzer. No idea why. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's because they're so surprised that anybody would not drink. <laughs> Wowzers. I visited the general's office at the museum. The significance and atmosphere was scary but amazing. Hmm. Wow. This is really cool. Is this from Wombat? I, I'm guessing it's from Wombat, but I have not gotten to the point yet of being able to reveal that. Let's see. Okay, there's a note. There's a note here with a almost creepy bear sticking his head out of a box. He's cute, but he's got stitches in his head for some reason. Hmm. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh gosh, there's a, I don't know exactly where to start in here because the writing is all over. It says, Kate, um, uh, Kate, C-A-T-E on Discord, I think, oh. which is at paper, yeah, yeah, wool, yeah. paper wool glue, glue. on Twitter, pa paper wool glue on Twitter. Very cool. So DJ already knows who that is. There's a little note here that is just for me, which I'll have to look at later. And it says, okay, hi, Chris. Uh, Christmas mail from Australia is like roulette. This could be very early or very late. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it got to you most roughly in time. Our local newspaper is a huge broadsheet, so I hope you enjoy the newsletter instead. It's got historical info in it. Uh, dear Chris, Deepa, and the faculty and current students, just a small token of love from our home to yours to say thank you for sharing your life and kitten work with us. You're an essential part of our day. Our cats don't even react to the live stream noise anymore as you're so familiar to them. You both do an awesome and essential job and do it with excellence. May God bless your work and your future abundantly. Love, Kate, Ted, Picasso, and Monet. Oh. Yeah, fancy cat names. Aww. 
Well, I'm sorry I can't read the little note that's especially to me aloud because it's super sweet. Thank you so much for this. I'll give it to DJ so she can read it to herself. And here is a little tiny Christmas bag. It says, Joy, Joy, Joy. And I'm going to open it anyway, even though it did get here early. I know how international shipping is, though. You just, you never know. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got three, uh, <laughs> we've got three really cute little things here. Uh, no, four. So first off, we have some beautiful zipper pulls that you can add to your zipper. They've got little like carabiner clips on them, so they clip right onto a zipper or anything else, I suppose. It's small enough. And they're cats, and they're, they are way too small for you to see, but they're little silver cats. These are so well crafted. Then we have two things that are even cooler, which are foam ear jack dust plugs that have little cats on them. But he wants to play with his reindeer. Yeah, I see that. Um, Really cute. Now let me move this out of the way. Just to show it. Oh, oh, run off with the box and the ribbon. Can you hey, tell me again what those things are? Well, yes. The first one are silver zipper pulls. There's probably about four of them in here, I'm guessing. Zipper pulls? Zipper pulls. You put them on a zipper. Pulls. Yes. Here Where we have. They? What's on them? Cats. Of cats. course. Beautiful cats. They're all unique, too. They're, each one is different. How many? I think four. They're beautiful. Really beautiful. Then we have two phone ear jack dust plugs. Now, the phone I just got does not have an ear jack port, but my new laptop does, and these would look really cute dangling off the side of that. Uh, then we have something that says for Chris, and it appears to be, oh, a little keychain, two little keychains that are also adorable cats. Wow. wow. And one that says for Deepa and is also, aw, two key, little keychains or little uh, charms or something. Little, they've got a little fob on them that are also two silver cats with little pink uh, baubles on hearts. And I know you can't see them because they're so tiny, but they look like they're all actual silver. And they're adorably crafted. And each one is so unique and wonderful. This is... The best Christmas present I've gotten so far this year. What? What? Why it's, do you like that? Why are you like that? It's the, it is wonderful, though. I don't mean to sell it short by making a joke out of it. These are amazing. And I have to take this ribbon away from you, Fig. I know you want to play with it, but she it's can, not for you. She can play with it for a little bit because it's not going to come off. Okay, fine. There you go. In that case, I'm going to pack these in here and hand them over to DJ so that she can take down your address and stuff. I want to have something a look at them. I know you, you don't have a zipper on do. your jacket, do you? No. That's fine. We'll, uh, they've got plenty of zippers around to put those on. We're going to be wearing hoodies all winter. They're really cute. Wow. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. This one aside. I don't think that's right. What? Um, here. Can I have it? Let's see what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Monster Pets. A drop shipment from a Monster Pets. Interesting. Very interesting. No. Oh, my goodness. What is in this? It's heavy, too. This is a set. Do not separate. <gasps> oh no, what have I done? Okay. Um, I was an echo in here. Yeah, I was loud. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see. There's a note. This is a drop ship, and it says, Charlie and Zorro go crazy for these. <gasps> Something tells me the faculty and kids will, too. So here we go. Here you go. You can have that. So this is from Charlie and Zorro, and oh DJ God. is very, very excited. I so okay. much. It looks like these are both the same thing, so I'm just going to open one, and we can have a look at it. I'm going to have to open it carefully, because I kind of know what's in here, and is I don't want to cut it. Is it going to fly out? No, it's going to leak out. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. So 
So let's be careful. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Very generous. So these are the Churu brand lickable treats. And they are very cute. They've got a beautiful, cute illustration of a cat holding one and licking it. Um, we recently tried the, uh, what is that brand of the treat sticks that we always get? Webox. Webox, yes. We recently tried Webox lickable treats, and our cats are going insane for them. Um, so these look really cool. A Naba Churu um, brand. Here we have a, uh, this one is tuna recipe, dolphin safe. This one is chicken with scallop recipe. This one does not say dolphin safe, so I have to assume um, that when dolphin they got these safe. chickens, I don't know, I don't know. They were, did, were not looking out for dolphins when they harvested those chickens. Uh, here we have a tuna with scallop recipe. Here we have uh, chicken. So we have, we have chicken and chicken with scallop, and we have tuna and tuna with scallop, and here, <laughs> We have the only other combination left over, tuna with chicken recipe. Of course, there could have just been a scallop with scallop recipe. There's not one of those. At least there's no dolphins. Yes. Well, we don't know because the chicken one doesn't no, say that. No, no dolphins. There could, be, there could be dolphins in the chicken. You don't know. You know what's weird? <laughs> My sense of humor? Uh, like, these look really cool. Like, he's got in the litter box, and, you know, he's wearing his collar and pooping. Uh-huh, yes, okay. <laughs> this is weird like, already. <laughs> it just looks like he's, you know, like dressed in a suit or something. And it makes him look fancy for pooping. Yeah, he's <laughs> too fancy, too to fancy for pooping. That's cute. Uh, Charlie and uh, Charlie's family, thank you so much for sending these. Hi. I think the cats are going to love them. I've almost tried out the Lickable Treats in the Webox brand that we have on these guys. But uh, so far, they're doing so well with the Webox uh, treat sticks. And uh, we get a lot of the Webox treat sticks, and we like those. We also got those fancy uh, treat sticks I think you guys gave us that the cats love. And, uh, oh, we had some of the Shiba brand in here from a long time ago, and I gave these went nuts for the Shiba brand. It was strange because we haven't used that too much. Anyway. Can I go see Charlie? <sighs> Not today. This is going to keep falling off, so I have to be careful not to show any addresses. Oh, and this is from someplace else. Where is this from? Sweden. Oh my goodness, Sweden. Okay. All right. I hope this was some minor trepidation because um, folks have sent us food products from Sweden before, and you guys have a very strange sense of taste. Um, uh, I'm talking about the stuff that, that the, like those little licorice candies that we've gotten from Sweden. Finland. Uh, which one? Finland. No, those. Yeah, but the Swedish had their own variety. Oh, Do you they remember? Had too. Yeah, it was. There was a different kind. Okay, I'm never going to be able to pronounce some of these Swedish words that are in here, but let's try it out. My name. Oh no! I just looked down at the bottom of. It's just a little piece of paper. It'll be okay. Uh, at the P.S., I just noticed the P.S. on this says, P.S., have fun pronouncing the Swedish words. It's very funny to hear you try. <laughs> okay. You know what the meaning of P.S. is? Yes, I know. It's, the meaning is postscript. You just said prescript. No, nah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, it still fits P.S. Okay. My name is Karina, and I live in Sweden in the county Småland. I'm probably mispronouncing small land, but it does look like it says it's small. small land. I know, yeah, small land. Small. I bet they do. Maybe the town I live near is familiar. It's called Husqvarna. Mm -hmm. Enough rambling about where I live. Well, this is familiar. Uh, Husqvarna makes a product here. There's a, there's a vacuum cleaners? Wait, what? Husqvarna? Why do I want to say it's a vacuum cleaner brand? Am I wrong? Probably. Okay. I started watching your stream Chainsaw. around... Oh, uh, okay. Lawnmower. All right, just start saying random words. I'm Seriously, sure you'll hit on it. Chainsaws, trimmers, oh, she looked brush it up. cutters, cultivators. Okay, fair enough. 
I started watching your stream around the time. Your time, lawnmower. <laughs> I started watching your stream around the time. Oh, boy. Those are the ones that can turn, right? I know, oh, okay. but that's such a cool term. Yes, it is. Zero turn. I started watching your stream around the time when Custard that's became a faculty. Custard? <laughs> I got a grande PSL <laughs> <laughs> You're showing it. Wow. Uh, I don't remember how, but suddenly I watched your stream every day. Of course. Suddenly. <laughs> What's gotten into you? What if they put that pumpkin spice latte? <laughs> um, of course, it was the cats and kittens I wanted to watch at first, but I've come to enjoy when you and DJ are online and get a glimpse of your life, too. Does this sound like I am a stalker? Anyway, I'd like to thank you for all you do for the kittens, and thank you for being so kind. I'm sorry I can't send you much, but I thought you would enjoy some candy that are very Swedish, in my opinion. Sorry to ruin your healthier lifestyle. Mm. I'm sending some mice for the kittens to play with. You can send them with the doctors or use them at Kitten Academy. So, back to the candy. I have sent you a polka gree. Pol polka gree? I'm going to polka gree. If you try to translate that, it will read polka pig bar. Uh -oh. <laughs> polka pig bar? <laughs> Very weird, I think. Let's call them polka candy cane. It tastes like peppermint. Polka gree is made in a town not far from me called Garana. Many tourists visit Garana in the summer, rambling, rambling about where I live again. Then we have Plop, a Swedish chocolate bar filled, filled with toffee. Funny name, Plop. The company Bubs that makes Scholar is also a local. They are based in Janoping, Jankoping. Jonko Ping, which Husqvarna is a suburb for. Am I really rambling about where I live again? They describe the candy like this. Oh boy. Imagine the world's most famous soft drink. We made it chewable and even more sourish. It's pretty cool, right? We know. We made it. It's awesome. Totally. Every piece of candy in our bags are fair trade certified and free from gelatin. I think you can guess that scholar means skulls. Maybe if I saw them, I could guess that. Otherwise, no. Yeah. And finally, we have three small boxes that are a very classical brand. It's one of Sweden's most famous candy brands, Zoo, Pim Pim, and Fruxo. Pim Pim was launched in 1932. They're all fruit flavored. When I was a kid, these were very popular enough, too. Not like today, where every kid gets huge bags with candy. I've also included a gift for you and DJ. I hope it fits and the quality is okay. And, oh, I've included our local newspaper. I think you will have a tough time understanding it. The Jonko Ping Post. Thank you again for all that you do. Car kind regards, Karina, who is Karina McDano on Twitter. That's C-A-R-I-N-A-M-C-D-A-N-N-O on Twitter. P.S. Have fun pronouncing the Swedish words. It's very funny to hear you try. Sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. I'm sorry. Karina Sweden on Discord. I don't know if she's ever active. Oh, well, Karina Sweden, if you are on Discord and, and you really want to stalk us, uh, then you should um, you should pay attention to the Five Nights stream for our Discord and Patreon subscribers. That shows the rest of the house. That's stalking. Um, so here we have the Jonko Pings posted. And uh, I'm excited to get into that, but we got a lot of mail to go through, so I'm not going to get focused on it. Uh, here we have for Mr. A, oh, perfect timing. I just started wearing a hat yesterday. Yeah. Here we have a hat that says meow with a little cat head at the O. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need. I'm going to try this on right now. It's just started to get really cold here. so. That's so cute. That's adorable. I love it. I love it. Karina, thank you so much. My battery is running low. So here we have Fruxo, uh, Zoo, and Pim Pim. Uh, I started by saying bad things about the candies that we've gotten from Sweden before, but those are good. I know that. Here we have a little package that says for DJ. You want to open it yourself? Okay, but what are those again? 
They are candies. They are Fruxo, Pim Pim, and Zoo. Uh, here we have. Can you open this? Oh, one? the Actually. Polka Grizzar. This says Polka Grizzar, not Polka Gri, like I was saying. Um, I I'm sure I would have it wrong anyway, though. Spell any of that. There, there it is, right there. Polka Grizzar. You spell it just. Uh, it just seems like that's the right way. I can, I can do it however I want. Here we have the Cool Cola Scale, and they are, they're like little skulls. I probably could have guessed it. I've never had this like, before, but I'm excited to try that. That looks like um, the thing from uh, Dr. Futurama. Oh, Futurama. Oh, it does kind of look like Zoidberg. Why, why not Zoidberg? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of look like Zoidberg. Here we have Plop. Two feet? Uh, three, actually. Three feet. Uh, Here we have a bag of tiny feather mice. These are so cute. I'm going to pull one of these out right now. The rest of these will save. Thank you so much. Tiny mouse? Is that from the package? Uh, no, it's just tiny feathered oh, mice. Tiny. Yeah, about a dozen, I'm feathered guessing. Mice, and, oh, what is this? Can you open mine? This is three uh, fur mice, real fur mice. Three of them. Wow, those are fancy. Okay, now we've dug all the way in. Let me put some of this back and then we'll open up DJ's part. I am so excited because I'm really hungry today for some reason. I am starving. You need some plop. Well, because I don't want to fill up on candy bars right now. Believe me, I would. You, don't, you know you can't eat lunch, or right? Do you want me to order food? Like, what are you thinking? Thai? No. Thinking. We'll figure something out. It'll be like... made of people coming, too. Yeah, but didn't they say they were coming at one or two? Two. How? There are flight lines at 965. Yeah. We could be here by 12. Okay, well, we'll see. Oh my goodness, what is in here? Daddy, oh, look at this for DJ. Doing? Bucky. Karina, this is too sweet. It's adorable. It's a silver necklace with little diamonds in it. Oh. And uh, it's it's the heart, but the part of the heart is made up of a cat stretching. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's adorable. Have a look at that. Okay. Karina, these are such thoughtful and wonderful gifts. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate them. And this hat is perfect for me. It really is. It's getting a little warm in here right now because we got the heat cranked up. But you're going to see a lot of me in this. Thank you so much. Especially if it's the only thing I'm wearing. And you would definitely see a lot of me in it. Why? Um, <laughs> what? What are you doing? Where's my green? Okay, here we go. This is like another drop shipment. Her info is on the envelope. Okay, here we have. Oh, look at this. <gasps> a little costume for Halloween since I thought DJ might like having another doctor in the house. I hope the faculty cat chosen for this ordeal will forgive me and they at least allow you to take one picture before they rip it apart. Oh my god. Really? Yes. That's really cute, but they didn't sign okay. who they are, so I don't know who it's from. Hmm. Anyway, I have to take a look at this. Is this 6 or G? Uh, 6. <gasps> oh, this is a cool costume. Oh, wow. Okay. It's got the uh, the doctor oh, coat that goes on the back. Horrible. And then the doctor in the front. Like. And look, he's wearing a little bag and everything. Oh, white coat. Yes, a little white coat with stuff in the pockets. This is going to be really, really cute. I don't have any Halloween costumes that are like Maybe this. Maybe Afro would wear it. Yeah, I think Acro would probably play right along. Here's the 
thing. Oh, let me see who it is. Yeah, because it doesn't no, say who it's of. from. DJ sometimes can figure it out. No, you get a first name. She's really good at figuring no, stuff not, out. No, it's not anything good. You just go to this link. It is good. To say, to send a thank you note, and it tells you their first name. Hmm. Well, we still got quite a bit of mailbag to get through, but we got about 50 minutes before we're going to quit, so let's see what we can do. Oh, how cute is this? Look, it's got a, it's got a little black cat on it with footprints behind it, and the, the black cat is saying, Sophia? I'm here to see DJ. Aww. Yeah, how cute is that? And then on the front, in the front it's got custard coming out of a mailbag, Kitten Academy, Hi to the wonderful Fox Lake Post Office workers. Thank you for all for your support to Kitten Academy. That's so sweet. Well, let's see who's here to see DJ. Got to make sure I open this without cutting into anything. Ah, oh, success. another package in here that's wrapped up. I'm trying to pull it all out in one piece. I'm not being very successful. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You want this? It's got an address on it. Oh. I don't know yet, but it does say right here. Oh, I know in, who it is now. In big red letters. Sorry, Mr. A, nothing for you or the kittens or the faculty in this package. It's all for DJ. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't get to open it because DJ's off camera typing on her laptop. So let's see what is all for DJ. <gasps> It starts out with a uh, letter that says, okay to read. Hi, Kitten Academy. So I was sending some life is good puppy pajamas to my friend who's recovering from surgery. And just like a little kitten, this pair of holiday cat pajamas jumped into my cart for DJ in PJs. I hope they're not too green, but green is good. Green is the color of the heart chakra. And that's appropriate because Kitten Academy has helped heal my bruised and battered heart. Hashtag no sads really works. I'm so grateful for you, your community of loving fans, and for all you do for cats and our beautiful cat filled planet. Thank you tons, love, Sufiness. P.S. To help make my friend feel better, hopefully, and because she loves Rottweilers, I've been texting her pictures of Rottweilers and kittens together. It's like the possibility of world peace. See the two attached photos. And then here we have a label, a uh, cat, that is labeled with the cat chakras, so you know uh, which chakra exists where on the cat. And there's the green heart chakra. And then on the back, oh, sorry, we have <laughs> we have a bunch of orange kittens sleeping on a Rottweiler. And uh, here we have a cat attacking a Rottie. So cute. All right, Sufiness, look at these pajamas that D you've sent DJ. This is uh, Life is Good. I have always loved the little Life is Good dog, and uh, I didn't know that they had a Life is Good cat. I didn't know they had a Life is Good cat. Who knew that? I didn't know. I've only seen the dog. Um, very cute. So that's the, the top. And the bottom is just snowflakes, and it says life is good. So that's the bottom, the matching bottom. And then there's more, but wait, there's more. We have Ms. Zooing brand, uh, little cat sock slippers. Oh, this, they're winking. They're little winking cats in three different colors. And then here we have... A warm pair of fleece 
Reese's leggings from a six pack share with friends. Soofiness. I love Reese's That is so sweet. That is so sweet of you. I'm going to hand all this to DJ and this I'm going to crumple up. So I'm stuck with a note. Why do you always keep a note? Did you show the pictures? Yes, I did. I know you don't watch this. Look I know you don't them. watch this show. Oh my God, so I know, they're really cute pictures. Okay, well, let's see what we've got right here. In this cute box with tons of Halloween you stickers on it. You just gave me these, and now I'm, what do I do? I don't know. Oh, and it says, happy fall to candy and everyone at the post office. I have to go get my charger. I can try it. It's pretty packed in there. Soofiness, this is really sweet of you. It's so sweet. Too sweet. Everybody's too sweet. Okay, you need to hurry because you've got to have stuff to catch up on when we get back. we got to keep moving because we got 40 minutes and all of this to get through. I at least want to get through the stuff that looks like it wasn't drop shipped. I, I don't know. I don't want to rush this. This is so cute. But I want to make sure we get through this. I wonder where here. this is from. Yeah, okay, keep going. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. All right. I'm going to keep going while we wait for DJ to come back with her charger. And let's see what we've got. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff packed in here. Okay, it says, Mr. A and DJ. Surprise! <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. Dear Mr. A and DJ, please open all the items and then read the enclosed list. Okay, well, this is the list. It's separate. Um... Happy Halloween to everyone at Kitten Academy, sending you a few things for the kitties, things for Mr. A and DJ, and things to share with your wonderful Patreon supporters. I really enjoy watching Kitten Academy and all the faculty. My kitties Quill, Sophia, and Tolia sometimes watch with me, and I love trying out toys and ideas I learned from you. The kitties love it, too. Thank you for being so wonderful and hardworking. Mr. A, you're doing a wonderful job. You are a wonderful man to support DJ and Kitten Academy as you have been. I wish I could help you clean litter boxes and do all that day-to-day -day unglamorous stuff that goes into taking care of so many kitties. We all appreciate everything you do. When I was on my cruise last month, I was sure to catch the close-up stream before we left port and the Wi-Fi connection. It helped me not miss my kitties so Wait, much. Wait, there's no internet on cruises? Keep up the great work, love, Lori, Danny, Quill, Sophia, and Tolia. Well, thank you guys so much. I've never been on a cruise. We had this conversation, I think, two weeks ago on the mailbag. So Can I can't I speak to the state of Wi-Fi on it. Can I have a card? Uh, okay. This is the list I have to read after I open what's in the box. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see. Oh, this is so cute. It is a tiny little magnetic chalkboard with chalk. Oh, it's so tiny. I know. It's tiny, and it's got a magnet on the back, so you can stick it to your fridge or something else. Oh, my God. I know. It's really... Wait, wait, there's more. Right, there's a matching... On it? Look, there's a matching oh, little tiny God. magnetic clipboard. She's losing her mind right now. It's so cute. It's all like... It's really cute. They're so tiny. <laughs> Here we have sparkling gel pens. They're gel pens with glitter in them. Wow. Those are awesome. There is a... Uh, How cute are these? Aw. It's a oh, little okay. tiny... Um, <laughs> this is cute. It's a little tiny notebook. Very tiny, oh and uh, it's got a th it's a little tiny three ring binder, I should say, and they sent a refill too. Very sweet. 
all this tiny stuff, DJ's going to lose it. Um, ooh. ooh. To Mr. A and DJ, while they're mostly air, and air has no calories, right? Toasted coconut marshmallow squares. Wow. I want to eat those right now. I'm not going to, but boy, do I want to. Okay. <gasps> oh, this says to DJ... A tiny thing for a big heart. How sweet is that? A tiny thing for a big heart. Aww. It's a tiny little picture frame. And it's made out of, I don't know, stone or something. It's wow. interesting. So cute. Really cute. I know. It's a tiny little stamp. It's really cute. So cute. Oh, okay, but well, wait, there's more. Here we have an emoji notepad. Yes, we have a poop notepad. We have creative cat stickers. Oh, these, all right, these might take the cake as being the most beautiful cat stickers we have now. They're all done up in a very fancy style. Here we have some with tea and some with rocket ships, and they're all very ornate. And there's uh, maybe four or five pages of them in here. Creative cat stickers. Here we've got peace and love cats. Very cool. Here we have, aw. It's, uh, how did you, oh, I see, okay. It's, this is all so cute. Can I see the stickers, please? It's stationary that says you've got a positive catitude, and then you oh fill in God. the name, date, so and reason. Beautiful. And the top one is already filled in for us. It says name, Mr. A and DJ, date April 20th, 2016, but well before that. That's the day we started the live stream, by the way. Reason for being totally awesome to kitties and us. That's so sweet. And practical. Oh gosh. Here we have one, two, three, four, five of the cat dancer uh, toys. We haven't had a new one of these in a long no, time. No, those are Eddie's favorite. But they, yeah, these have been a favorite of the faculty for quite a while. And I don't know why we haven't had one around, but now we've got five. So we are all set. Do they say is we'll find out. Like we'll find out. I'm supposed to read that part last. All right, here's something that's all... Oh, wow, what is this? A kitty cat. It is. It's a haunting hand soap. It's taffy apple scented hand soap. Mm. And it comes in a bottle that is the shape of a cat. How brilliant. Wow. Taffy what? Uh, Taffy apple. Taffy apple. Yes, taffy oh, apple. Taffy apple, very full. Yes, very full. Wow, okay, so now I get to read the note that just explains the list of loot. Maybe you were supposed to read it at the beginning. No, it said very specifically, if you were in the room, you would know. But I have to go get my charger. Okay, list of loot. The five cat dancers were originally for the Persians, but I took too long in sending them. They're simple toys, but some of my cats love them and drag them to us to play. Yes, that's what Distribute as you see fit. Try one out on the faculty. But we will. I think Eddie is going to love one. Poop notepad. Why not? Mm -hmm. Catitude certificates. I really wanted to fill them all out for the fantastic people who send you and the kittens such wonderful stuff. But I'll settle for having you and DJ being the first recipients. Embellishment, courtesy of my own set of the glitter gel pens. Smudges, courtesy of Sophia, who helped. Tiny things for DJ. I got carried away. Maybe Mr. A can use the clipboard to remember the news to tell us on the stream each night. How smart. Black cat soap dispenser. So cute, I had to get one for myself. Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. Cat stickers to use for your wonderful Patreon supporters. I think the steampunk top hat orange cat is acro. Marshmallows from my favorite CT chocolate makers. Enjoy. Where's the steampunk? It's in the it's a list of uh, stickers. It's in the sticker book that you have there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's what you meant. Yes. Let's see what that is. Wow. 
Thank you so much. These are all wonderful things. I I have to try one of these right now. I'm starving. My mouth is watering, and these look so good. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to open one. Toasted coconut marshmallows. Okay. Oh, wow. This smell great. Kind of like coconut back room. Oh, it is Is that much chewier? Mm. You want to try one? No. Yes, yeah, so they're like very soft coconut macaroons because they're marshmallow on the inside. So yummy. Oh, wow. Really yummy. Those are going to get eaten. So I guess we'll open this next. It is to Tim Academy in the USA. It's hard to tell where it's from. I don't know how well you can see this. Um, but it's clearly the uh, oh, London Bridge and the, uh, the eye. They call it the eye, right? And Big Ben. Okay, so was this someone on Discord too or no? Um... I don't know. You got the, the note there. The I think they've sent us stuff before. Oh, the card? Yeah, you already have the card. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I get that all the way cut around. Look at that. They wrap this box in two pieces, so it's got a lid that you can just open up without having to destroy all the wrapping. So nice. Very quality. Very quality wrapping right there. Everybody else, take some notes. Okay. Here we have a card that is cats in glittery costumes. And... Aw, we've got pictures of cats. Hang on. Just wanted to personally wish you a very happy Halloween to Mr. A and DJ and Acro, Smokey, Eddie, Loganberry, Ari, Custard, and of course Elsie Dog. Love from... Excuse me. Sue and Cheryl. JB... Misha and Gracie. And they've included pictures of JB, who's got that same round fig face I love so much. And Gracie and Misha were beautiful. And there's another note Dear Mr. A and DJ, big thank you for all the enjoyment you and your little furry family give us, and also all your foster kids. We enclosed pictures of our little family. The two tuxes are mine, they are sisters, and the ginger beauty is my daughter's. They are from rescue centers or just not wanted anymore, but we love them to bits. Thank you, Sue with Misha and Gracie, and Cheryl with JB from London, England. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Can I have the These tuxes yeah, are beautiful, card. and like I said. JB, I love JB's little round face. It just reminds me of Figs and the Loons of Figgy Face. I know, it's so cute. It's a totally round Figgy face. No, I just want the card. Oh, and the pictures. But then there's a letter in there, right? Yes, take all that. Okay, we've got tissue it. paper with little hearts on it. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, what have we got? Oh, hey, there's some fun stuff in here. Here we have... Dreamy's Deli Cats 80% Chicken, um, individually packaged chicken treats for cats. Here we have Wagtastic Super Dog Chews Chewy Cigars for Elsie. Here we have, oh, another package of the Dreamy's. Here we go. Here we have, oh, hey, hey. Well, here we have Purina Gourmet Classic with finely sliced chicken in a delicate broth. Mmm. Well. Uh, here we have Doggy Incredibubbles. It's bubbles for dogs. 
And here we have Kitty in Creddy Bubbles. That's bubbles for kittens. Here we have a Meowy Catnip Mice with Feathers. There's three of them, and they have a really cool little spiral design on them. Here we have a key ring. The key ring says, all you need is love and a cat. And here we have another key ring that says, cats leave paw prints on your heart. Aww. Very sweet. And then finally, we have two packages of gourmet sweets from London. And the gourmet sweets are in the shape of cats and cat paws. And this one is, oh, they're called Candy Kittens. I see I have my thumb over that at the top. Candy Kittens, Sour Watermelon Flavor Candy Kittens, and Sour Blueberry Flavor Candy Kittens. Wow, those look really yummy. Thank you for so much for this stuff. I love these little uh, Incredit Bubbles. These are everlasting fun bubbles for your cats. It's not your average bubble stuff. Bubbles land without popping. Mm. And they are both peach flavored. They are non-toxic. And it says uh, it might leave a white residue that wipes off easily. I guess that's important to know. Thousands of bubbles that last for hours. Okay, can, you, can I open one? A bubbles? Yeah, right now. I want to open one right now. For I best results, use your hands to wave the bubbles in the air for a moment. The more seconds they float in the air, the lighter and more durable they become. That sounds complicated. <laughs> sounds complicated. I'm excited to play with those, but I think we should wait a little bit. We've got a lot I to get through. I want bubbles on the, on the mailbag. All right. Here, we'll open the kitty one. Oh, they're not in the open proof package. No, it was very easy to open. Is it peach flavored? No, it's like... <laughs> Why did you? It says non-toxic on the thing and the cats are going to eat them. I might as well try it first. They taste horrible. I don't know. It says peach flavored. It is a lie. It is a total lie. Oh my gosh, it tastes like glue and earwax. Ugh, that's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. You have to calm down and carry on. Oh, that's so British. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so they taste really, really bad. Maybe you weren't supposed to lick the, like, the concentrated oh. form of it. Try to lick a bubble instead. Lick a bubble. Wow, that makes really good bubbles, though. Like, lick a oh. bubble. Oh. It's so bad. Now does it I don't know. I can't, I, I can't taste anything anymore. It just ruined my mouth. Like that one. No, they still taste like like I don't know. Look at that, it's still up there. They still they're taste still... they taste like look, there's some of them. oh they've landed on me and left a little residue though. Like White it said, residue that will that wash, wipes off. Wipes yeah. oh. off. Oh, it's like um Yeah, it's like for polymer or something. It says non toxic. We've had those before, right? I, I don't think know we if had we have not for a long like time. That. We had it last year. Did we? I don't remember it. You don't remember me sitting there blowing bubbles for you? I remember us blowing bubbles in there plenty. I don't remember us using so bubbles that didn't go away. I'm going to do it as you do the mailbag. <sighs> don't do Why too many. It's, it's going to leave little things all over. and We'll have to... Oh, look. It's stuck to the papers. Can you look for a box Oh, look. This one's relaunched. Can you look for a box from Tennessee? Okay, I'll look for a box from Tennessee. Hang on. Okay, next. okay will do. Thank you so much for sending this stuff. The bubbles are really cool. Candy kittens, I'm excited about. These treats, it's all fantastic. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank, you thank you. Did you need the address of some stuff for this package? It does taste bad. Oh, it tastes horrible. Oh, my goodness. They say, I don't know why they were right. How can they just write peach flavored on there? There's no peach that tastes like that. <laughs> if you ever get a peach that tastes like that, send it back. Oh I've never my had goodness. Peaches, so now I'm gonna believe this is what peach Oh is. no! Oh no! Whoever packaged that has ruined peaches for DJ forever. Okay, I need a package from where you said? Tennessee. Tennessee. 
I can tell you the name of the town if you want. No, that's okay. Let's just start with Tennessee. You know, you didn't pick it up today. Yeah. Normally, we pick up the, the post office stuff the morning of, and this one time we made an exception. Although, I, I will be back at the post office probably later today if I get the chance, uh, otherwise Monday. And you sure maybe I can pick it up then. Though? I'm pretty like, sure. You don't see any little boxes? No, I don't. I'm so sorry. Let me just look on the other side and make sure we didn't lose anything behind. Because that doesn't look like it was drop shipped. Did you look there? This one is not drop shipped. Right by your foot. No, yeah, I looked at that one too. Okay, we'll open that one next though. How much time do we have? <sighs> okay, I don't want to take a break, but those three cups of coffee, they're, they're ready. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for covering my head in bubbles. Mm -hmm. In delicious bubbles. Okay. This says... Thank you, Fox Lake Post Office. And it's got little drawings of cats on it. It's really cute. And um, now there's delicious bubbles on my Diet Coke. I'm sorry, on my mystery beverage. It's a mystery what beverage is in here until Coca-Cola decides to pay me money to sponsor. Since you don't know what's in there. Sponsors. Since Coca-Cola can afford it, okay, they can afford it. They can afford to sponsor some kittens. Yes, they can afford to sponsor some oh, kittens. Okay. Well, here we have a note that only says who it's from and who it's to, so that will be useful to DJ who needs to stop blowing bubbles and start taking notes. It's too bubbly in here. No, no, no. I feel it's like I'm in a rave bubbly. or something. Never too bubbly in here. I, I think you need to start taking some notes there. You think I need to sleep? <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so, though. You got a lot of sleep last night. I sound weird to myself. I just think that you're all hyped up on the caffeine. It's cute. People are so patient. I'm not. Put the <laughs> bubbles away. Start taking your notes. <laughs> I've lost my patience. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. You just wait. You'll lose some patience eventually. This is so more. Why would you say that? Well, you're the one who started it. Okay, here we have a note. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. Hello from Haverhill, There's MA. There's bubbles inside the bubble blower thing. Uh, oh, uh, how do you say that? It's simple. Just not what you think. Sound it out with me. Have rule. Uh, don't overthink it. New Englanders have spent almost 400 years coming up with that. Anyway, we love what you do. We've been avid viewers since the fish were tinies and have since oh, signed on fish. and have since signed on with Patreon and Discord at SD Grady. Oh, okay, at SD, oh, Grady. We SD Grady. Seriously, you guys just rock with all the good things you do and providing oh, a safe. Look at me, Look at me, Look at all the bubbles. Yeah, so cute. Um, providing a safe and happy place to visit on the internet each and every day. Yes. Yes, thank you for saying that. Exactly. It's a safe place it's on the internet. It's a safe and happy place. It's exactly what we try for. Um. Okay, I'm going to stop with the bubbles. We've included a hometown paper from our future home on the main coast. No police blotters, but I'm sure you are dying to know just how lobster men raise their families in a modern economy. That's what I... In fact, I have. I've been wondering that all morning. We understand that your time is valuable and prioritizing kitten feeding, medication, spoodling, and playtime can be overwhelming when you're also trying to keep up with work and the 1,001 other projects that need doing. We've noticed you often are mentioning something will get done when you get around to it, so we thought we'd help. Open envelope number one. Whoa. Okay, we got some instructions here. Envelope number one. Oh, <laughs> that 
Now what is it? <laughs> I, I can tell what it is. What is that? You just said what it is. ridiculous. He's completely covering bubbles. It's a round to it. Okay, I'm sorry to have interrupted that joke. A round to it. I yeah. get it now. Ah, it's a round to it. Uh, it says, now what is it? It's round. It reads to it. It's a round to it. There, now all your worries are solved and now you can finally finish all those errands that you said you would Thank do when you, you got so a round much. to it. That is so helpful. <laughs> now you can finish all those errands you said you would when you got a round to it. You're welcome. In envelope number two, you should put that. Oh, first off, hang on. I'm going out of order here. This is the working waterfront. Wow, below the decks with a schooner, sh schooner, a schooner chef. That's difficult to say. A schooner chef. This looks really cool. News of Maine's coasts and islands. I'm excited to take a look at that. Oh boy. And, okay, this must be envelope number two. And envelope number two has provided some signs so that visitors and students will have an easier time finding their way through the academy grounds I love that. and arrive at their assigned classrooms on time. Oh my God, I hope this helped, and I hope you and DJ have a wonderful and joyous Christmas season. Sincerely, Sonia and Richard. It actually says Sonia and Richard and, and then, the oh, and, oh, and there's, there's a second page. <laughs> and Annie and Tam. Oh, look at Annie and Tam. Tam? T-A-M, Tam. You got it. All right, let's see what signs we have. Oh, these are some signs. My goodness. <gasps> oh, this is too cool. Look at oh that. Oh, my God. I love that. Kid Academy main classroom. It says, uh, primary studies include deployment of floof, advanced bathing, cathletics featuring tree climbing and pouncing of beanbags, intensive napping, and sleep studies, maintenance, food services, and video conferencing provided by Mr. A, additional snuggles and squeals provided by DJ. It's, uh, it's a little hard to read because it's wrapped in a protective white plastic that will come off, and then it'll be perfectly clear. But I don't want to unwrap it yet, so, uh, so it's, if it that's looks a little milky, the that's why. Right next to the door. This one says, Kitten Academy, where kittens learn to a cat, main classroom. Okay, so there's a duplicate, so we can put one by each door. Oh. And then here we have uh, Kitten Academy, Annex and Nursery. Supplemental studies include nose boops, spoogles, introduction to tunnels, sneak attacks, butt wiggles. This is amazing. This one says, Kitten Academy... Spa and Independent Studies, Special Classroom, Personalized Therapy to Steam Baths, Orientation for Shared Human and Kitten Habitats. Oh my god, it's so... It's a really, really cute. Here we have one that's, uh, maybe they're all like this under the plastic. This looks like, this one's got transparent plastic, and it is transparent, so we can put it, say, uh, I don't know, on the window itself or something. And then here we have uh, what appears to be just a blank holder for us to do whatever we like with. These are fantastic. And I know DJ's excited to put them up on the yes, house. Yes, I'm going to do it before, um, before anybody gets here. I think we need to think about it, though, and put them in the right spots. Because they'll be I mean, hard to move later. Yeah, but they're not that hard to move. Yeah, I just need more adhesives, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. Those are... I want to just put them next to the door so you can do the close-up tonight. So there's the address and stuff. The so cool. It's, it's really, so really cool. Awesome. I love those signs. And they're thoughtful, that. and they're funny, and they're wonderful. So, it, now we... It's fantastic. So I, I am excited to put them up. Yes. Very official, too. It's very official. Wow. Yeah, now the kittens can find their way if they get lost and they're like, what room is this? What room is this? Is this a classroom? Is this a spa? Exactly. Oh my 
Exactly, yeah. Well, the new students need to know how to get around. Independent studies happen? <laughs> Where do we go for independent studies? Okay. Oh, well, this, uh, by the way, has, uh, I showed this at the beginning of the, the stream. I cut right through that post-it note. It has a picture of three kittens using their tails as springs to bounce around. And there's also uh, little kitten stickers all over the box that are really cute. I know. If only you had someone around that would tell you not to do the bubbles. For Mr. A, since you like to read newspapers from other places, here are two from my favorite vacation spot, Nantucket. Enjoy, Lisa G. Lisa G? Yes. Listen, yesterday's island, today's Nantucket. <laughs> That's really cute. I am excited to get into these, but and they're going to have to wait a little bit because we are running short on time, and I feel like uh, I feel like I really want to get through this stuff. Can we go a little long if we have to? Um, this says for DJ, who is a great surrogate mom to all the Academy kittens, from Lisa G. Aww, it's a beautiful red shirt, and it says. Motherhood. Oh, look at that. It's a little kitten hatching from an egg. That's really cute. DJ, what do you think? It's a mom cat with a oh, little kitten hatching from an egg. Hatching. Yes. Because that's how they work. That's exactly yes. how it works. And then on the back. The letter says we can pick up mail if you want. We're going there anyway. On the back, there's another little detail of a kitten hatching from an egg. No, they, they don't need to pick up our mail. That's okay. Thank them, though. And um, make sure that they notice that uh, Candy is there wearing cat ears today. I'm sure they will. At least she's supposed to be wearing cat ears today. She was. She acted so upset yesterday that I was there a day early because she wasn't wearing her cat ears. She was going to save them and wear them when I was there today. Well, okay. Have guests, uh, show up for, uh, for Mr. A, I saw this and thought it was perfect for you and all you do for the kittens. Lisa GPS, I've included some extra tissue paper for the kitties. They're going to appreciate that. Um, okay, let's see what have we got. Adopt a cat. Oh, it's got a whole thing going on here. Let's see. It's a guy covered in cats. It looks like he's giving an interview. He says, I used to be a dog person. I only like dogs and dogs like me. Then one day at a party, somebody handed me a cat. It was just a small cat, and I tried it. It wasn't bad. Sort of I pleasant. Sort of pleasant, in fact. So I had another, and then another, and then another. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, I do have a sort of an addictive personality. So, And here we are, covered in cats. I love it. And then it does say at the bottom, adopt a cat. Yes. Uh, that is perfect for me. Thank you so much for these t-shirts, Lisa G. And uh, the local paper and the extra wrapping papers for the kittens. Can you find Tommy and Sherry? No, no, Tommy and Sherry said something else? Yeah. Oh, no. That's exciting. I think I know. If it, if it is here, it's got to be this big one here on top. Hang on. Did you, do you have everything you need about Lisa G? I think so, except the answers. Okay, well, it's on there, so here you go. Maybe you want to hand me something so there's room for you to have this. It's going to fall on your coffee and make a mess. Okay, I think this has got to be the one. Yes, this is the one from Tommy and Sherry. Absolutely. Let's get right into it. They always send stuff that's pretty unique, so I'm excited about that. I didn't realize that they had sent something. <gasps> oh, and this is pretty unique. Wow. Okay. It's, uh, this is going to be a little difficult to unpack. So, uh, First off, we have a bolt laser. 
Nailed it. Bolt laser? What? Yes, a bolt laser. Oh, a bolt kit laser? Mm hmm. Now, here's a card. Okay, here's a card. Mr. A and DJ. Oh, it says you're fantastic. <laughs> Very happy looking plan. How did they get that? Oh, I guess fantastic is not an uncommon. Mr. A and DJ. First of all, I'm sorry about the socks you were about to be gifted with. Tommy picked them out. Anyway, I usually try to stick with a theme based on the cat names, but lately you've had so much going on that I haven't been able to keep up. Well, you aren't the only ones. Uh, so, enclosed are some random gifts for the kitties as well as for DJ and yourself. We thought the cat bed would look great in one of the cat rooms in honor of Halloween. I hope you like the Gord Jack-O-Lantern. I made it myself. As usual, keep up the great work, Tommy and Sherry. P.S. If you tap the pen down on its tip, it will light up. Hmm, a mystery note. Can I have that? Can I have the card? Just the card. There. Uh. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, um, first off. First off, this cat bed I'm pulling everything out of is brilliant, but I'm going to have to show it to you last because everything is in it. Oh my goodness! Here oh, we have a tiny plan. Yeah, I think the one you have is a little bigger, so now we're going to have a family. A flamily. Flamily. A flamily. This is the pen that lights, lights up? No. That must be a different pen. Maybe tap. there's more than one pen. Tap on the bottom. No, I did. The bottom. Do it, do it like this. No, the other side. Oh! Oh my goodness, it does light up. I, I was not anticipating that to occur. Why? Well, even when someone told you I, that that's I, what would happen, you weren't anticipating it? Okay, that's awesome. I love how, how like, <laughs> look at that jiggly. Look at the, it was jiggly fun. That's, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, it is a Star Trek. <laughs> these socks are too cool. Okay, these socks are uh, Spock from Star Trek, but they're so much cooler than that. You, I don't know if you'll be able to tell this because I'm not wearing them. The ears, the Vulcan ears, stick out from the sock. <laughs> That's awesome. I am so excited to wear Spots. those. Spocks! Oh my gosh, they're Spocks! You're welcome. Thank you, DJ. You are really on point today. It's all the PSL. It is. That's all the PSL. Okay. Here we have a bag. Wow, that is really cool. The way you tied this together. And it contains cat toys. Here we have a set of springs. Aww, we have a tiny organic catnip carrot. Look how tiny it is. It's so tiny. It's a tiny little organic catnip carrot. Maybe we should name it Kitty Carrot. Carrot's good. Eggplant. Oh, for crying out loud. Here we have a organic catnip octopus with scary eyes. Here we have Pet Stage's Quiet Glow Play 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 Pair Glow in the Dark Cat Toys. Oh, the Go Cat. This is like the helicopter. Uh, oh, I think it is. Okay, it just is. It is the helicopter that they have. This is really fun for the faculty. They love this thing. Here we have stringy mice and balls. Because they have that weird stringy hair, I assume. I assume that's why they're calling them that. No, Smart no, Cat. I'm taking notes. Can you go through all of it after the facts? Smarty Cat Bouncy Mouse. Bouncy Mouse. Cat with a K. I don't know. Uh, here we have a Skinny's. This is not a flat mouse, though. It is a huh, flat, so flat squirrel. Flat squirrel. I did not know that. they made little tiny flat squirrels. Can you deploy that right now? Really? Right now? Let's wait. Okay. Here we have Pet Stage's Wobble Mice. And... Smarty Cat Skitter Critters. 
three little tiny mice. That is a lot of cat toys. Thank you so much. And if we dig in here now, oh, this is amazing. Wow, oh, you wow. believe this? This is what you That's do? Incredible. Is that a real? Yes, this is an wow. actual dried gourd, and it's made into a spooky monster face. And then it's got, here, let me show this to you guys. i got to move this box. I'll be back here for a second. This is gorgeous. Gord, gorgeous. Gorgeous? Whoa. Yes. Okay, this is you win. <laughs> so it's got kind of a, a, like a Tim Burton feel to it. It's got these big eyes and yeah. little nose holes, and then it's got a mouth that's sewed shut. And the bottom of it then is corked. And that's so that you can put in a little tea light and it can light up. So it's an actual jack-o'-lantern. How amazing is that? Oh, and the tea light fits right into the cork because the cork's got the bottom carved out of it. That's so cool. It's We've very, that's very so quality. I mean, the, the way that's made is fantastic. Really like that. We should put it in the living room. Wow. We should put it in the living room. That's amazing. I just, I love this thing. It does, it's got a very, like I said, a very sort of Tim Burton sensibility to it. It's a real dried gourd. It's uh, just, this is, this is beautiful. Completely beautiful. Or, you know, as I said, gorgeous. Creepy. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> it's not creepy though, it's whimsical and, and cute. But it is meant it to be It does look like it belongs scary, straight in like right? the Nightmare be Before Christmas or something. Wow, okay, I need to put this somewhere safe so that Go -go it doesn't get cat. crushed. Oh, and so I have to show you what else is in here. So it's called Gogo Cat, the thing that helicopter lights? Yes, the helicopter. Did you get the tiny carrot and the tiny octopus? Ah, uh, that's why I was distracted. It's their fault. Sure, blame them. All right, that's all cool stuff. But this, this is pretty epic right here. It is a Halloween black cat. Cat it should put it right next to the pumpkin. But the coolest thing about this, the coolest detail, is that the the mat inside that makes it soft for the cats is all pink, so it looks like a giant cat tongue. <laughs> in his mouth. This is the coolest thing. It, it, goes, next to the it does. Pumpkin. It'll go really well with the pumpkin that I we've got in here already. That at that point. Maybe not. This is so cute. I'm gonna set it back here and then book. Oh, oh I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, this, I'm, I've got to go put this out of the room right now because I don't want to risk it getting damaged. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it away. I'll be back in two shakes. Two shakes of... Of anything. Just shake something twice. I'll be right back. so excited about a cord. Oh my cord. Oh my cord. Oh my cord, that's awesome. Alright, I think we've about run off the gourd jokes, haven't we? You got another? No? Go ahead. Do you guys want to use that? I did. Yep, that was, yep. I did it though, so it's, it's done. It's completely done. Did you get the wobble mice? Yeah. Did you get the springs? Mm -hmm. Did you get the flat squirrel? Yep. And now you got these. You got the hair mice. Hair mice. Yeah. Hair Bouncy mice. mouse. Hair mice times four? Yes. And glow in the dark balls. Glow in the dark balls, how many? Two. And then I know you got all this stuff because that came up before. I can't wait to wear these Spock socks. Spocks. Spocks, thank you, yes. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Uh, you guys always send the coolest stuff. Thank you so much. That gourd, though, that's, I can't believe you made that. Do you sell that stuff on Etsy or something? If, if, there, if you do, we, we really should do a little, you know, advertising for you. Everybody needs one of those things. 
That's fantastic, and I would love to tell people how to find those online. Um, okay, we have, practically speaking, two more boxes, and uh, we're out of time, but I'm just going to push through. There's no one in the driveway yet. Yeah, DJ's watching the driveway, but they did say they wouldn't get here until one or two. Oh. So, well, I thought they had to go back at three. I thought their flight back wasn't until late, okay. but we'll see. They're on their little cage tour. Good. I'm glad they're going by on Angel's Wings and stuff, maybe? Post office. I'm so glad. I'm really glad that they decided to go look around a little bit, because otherwise it could have been awkward being here. Um, uh, well, this also doesn't say who it's from, but it is. it does say it is, uh, this can be used for kittens or faculty, whoever you think will use it the most. Thank you for giving us, all of us, a look into your beautiful home. Remember to take care of yourselves first. Kitten Academy would be nothing without you two. Well, it's also true that Kitten Academy would be nothing without all of you. So we can take equal credit in that. So first off, I recognize the style of this box. However, you do not know what that is. I don't, know, But I do know this is a cat. I love this. I know. This is clearly a Cadet product. They make all kinds of products, and we like some of them, and uh, there's other ones we're not so sure about. Can we, like, cut that part out? Well, that's so what it's for. This okay. is, you're supposed to cut it out right here, and then you see your cat's you head in, a, the like, an alien thing. You the on the inside, because then you can actually cut through the end of the circle. They are so smart. Oh. Oh, look at that. Okay. So this is a new model of something that we have had an old one of. It is their food tower. Yes, it is the food tower. They used to make it where it came with a separate rubber ring around the outside. I like this better. Yeah, the rubber ring was a oh pain God. in yeah. the butt. This looks like a much improved version. And it's basically a puzzle for the cats. You put food in the top, and they've got to reach in the sides and knock the food through these little holes on each level of it until finally it falls out the bottom into this tray. I think we should put it in here. It is brilliant. And man, maybe they would like one in here, although they get food in here all the time. This does make more sense as a gift for faculty. Uh, it works really well for, it works really well for faculty because they have to we have to limit their food, otherwise they just maybe eat too much. Maybe this is what we put out tonight. Yeah. We are giving them too much food. I think that this would be perfect. I can't get it to fit back in the box. It's impossible. It's impossible. It is impossible. I think this is perfect for the faculty, though. Thank you so much. They need to be slowed down a little bit on their eating, and this will do the trick. I gave you the note, right? This is also from Sophia. Oh, thank you, Sophia, whoever you may be. I don't want to speculate too much because then we could possibly be doxing you. But uh, thank you. Here we have a tiny box from Fac Factory Direct Craft Supply. Interesting. A factory Direct Drop Shipment. Let's see, what does it contain? Well, Crafty is, okay. It doesn't say anything about who it's actually from there. Maybe this will. Receipt. Hmm. I don't see anything here that says who this is from. Oh, there might be a hint here. I'm not going to say it on the stream, but DJ, there's a phone number and an email address here that I believe belongs to the person who purchased it. See if it rings any bells for you. Right here. Don't say it out loud. Okay, so here we have some, oh, a little gift, an extra gift, they, something they didn't order that they just threw into the box, little potpourri balls. And here we have what they actually intended to send us. And it contains oh, a little tiny Christmas tree garland. It's mini tree. Oh, oh my goodness, this is perfect for DJ. Look what this is. What? It's a miniature Christmas tree. Oh, oh but wait, it gets it gets better. It comes with 
Look, miniature oh, garland to decorate the miniature tree. I think there might even be more tiny little glass ornaments to decorate the tiny tree. And a 25 pound bag, of course it's tiny, a 25 pound bag of reindeer feed. Mm, so creepy yeah. reindeer, yeah, creepy reindeer finally has some food. I would put it with creepy reindeer, but it would just get lost in this room. We'll set that up later on. I think we'll just put it on the tree or something. Put it under the tree, you could, and maybe put oh, the yeah. creepy reindeer with the tree. Wow, a miniature tree with miniature decorations. That it's really is so next cute. level. Oh, this is exactly God. DJ's kind of deal. But I don't believe way too cute. there's anything to indicate who it's from. I mean, Unless DJ has solved the mystery. If it's somebody who sent us something before and that email address matches up, then we know. Isn't that their name? Maybe. Here you go. Anyway, thank you. It's brilliant. That's so brilliant. DJ is going to love having that little tiny tree. It's a runip. Oh, is that runip? Oh, runip. Okay. Runip, oh, runip, is just... runip that's adorable. Thank you so much. Wow. That's really fantastic. It's so cute. Wait, okay. what is it? That's right. I thought, oh, oh no, I thought that name was familiar, but we only know Runip is Runip, so now I get it. No, 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 they go everywhere. Don't, 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 don't. Hey, this, no, this time listen to me. I mean, no, stop. I'm not going to No. Uh, I can't stop her. Open. Good. I can't stop her from doing what she's going to so do. Good. Good. Oh my god, I love that smell. I'm just sighing and shaking my head over here, people. You can't see that part because my head's off the stream, but it's being shaken. Oh my god. Here we have a note. Since the tree cats, cat trees, enjoy these so much, please endow where you think they will provide the most enjoyment. Pat M.M. That's P-A-T-T-M-M. -M. Oh... Oh my god. Rainbow Poops is the one that sent the cat tower and the doctor costume. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Poops. Here, look at this. You need to note this down. This is an incredible gift. Pat M.M. Pat M.M. Okay, so I'm not even going to take all these out of the box. The box is filled up. With these Cat It Senses ball tracks, brand new, in the box, there's four of them in here. And that is amazing. That's such a great gift. And they do. Cats love this thing. You know, uh, true story, they now sell this as one piece, like you've sent us here, the sort of figure eight shape that you see on the box. But when we got ours, we, they didn't sell it that way. You had to buy two separate kits and combine them to get the figure eight. Uh, so I'm glad that they wised up and started selling them as one piece, and I'm glad that you got us four of them. These are going to make excellent endowment gifts. Wow. Um, I even think I know maybe where the first one should go. Where? You think we should set one aside for Crabapple and Large today? They like it, right? Yeah, I think Crabapple I've seen play with it quite a bit. Of course, something like that has to go with Fig. Yeah. And uh, I know that the little wolf cat also loves it. So, wow, that's that's fantastic. I pet M M. Uh, that's that's a phenomenal gift. So generous, and uh, it's it's really good to have some stuff that we can send that was specific for the trees. So, thank you so much for that. Okay. Now we have some of these long drop ship boxes. These are leftovers from last week, and I'm pretty sure I know what they contain. Let's see, there's a note. The note says, here we go. Hi, Mr. A and DJ, just a little something for the mom cats to use in their forever homes. Everything has the approval of my cat Rosie, so I think Magnolia and Fig will approve. From Carol and Rosie, Kaz Mac on Discord. Did you get any of that? No? No, I'm working on this. Are you crashing now from your coffee? No. Are you sure? I just want to send a thank you note. Okay. Why are you like a genius of you, man? 
<laughs> I'm going to hang on to this for a minute and give it to her when she's ready. But I know it exists if you just give it to me. Oh, there's no little thing here. Hmm. Oh, well, there's no well these are not exactly what I expected, but they're similar. Wow. Look at that. Two awesome wand toys with, uh, those are weird cool. feathers. These are really cool. I bet they'll like those because they're extra wiggly. Yeah, these do. These seem like can exactly... I get, can I have one of those now? Can I actually have one I don't one even one? know. Oh, Maggie's out. That's probably why nobody's yeah. coming up. Are you ready for this? Two wand toys. Kazmak. Yes, Kazmak. Okay, these are fun. Are <laughs> I really like these. Attention. Kazmak, those are really fun wand toys. I've never seen one quite like that before. Uh, I've seen some that are kind of similar, but that's that's fancy. Oh, it's actually addressed on the box to Magnolia and Fig, care oh, of Kitten Academy. So cute. That's really cute. I love it when the mail is addressed to the cat. Sometimes I don't notice right away. But that's it's, adorable. It is really adorable. Yes. This one is also addressed to Magnolia and Fig. Okay, good. So let's see what we got. I love it. This one's like the sweetest thing. When they get mailed specifically for them. It is really so sweet. Cute. It's so cute when you get mailed. Okay, hang on. What do we got? Oh, okay, hang on. Okay. There's another note. Uh, but it is the identical note. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. Just a little something for the mom cats to use in their forever homes. Everything has the approval of my cat, Rosie, so I think Magnolia and Fig will approve. Mm -hmm. I think they will. This is another one I've never seen before with a real leather uh, string. And at the end, it looks like a real, uh, no, probably fake fur. Fake fur, maybe even fake leather. I can't tell. I mean, that's good. But it's a fur and leather, a little cat that's thing on a string. Fake leather and fake fur is good. It is. Anyway, Give these are also good. great. I'm going to combine these into one box. Wow, Magnolia and Fig, uh, two love chasing things. So these are going to be quality so gifts for that. Okay, but wait, there's one more box now, one more, and then I get to start cleaning up this room. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, let's go. Okay, I got it. Long reach. Feather bouncer toy. Is this one also addressed? Feather bouncer toy and feather bouncer toy. Oh, good, good choice. The next is going to be weather bouncer toy. Actually, this is not a part of the same sequence. This is just addressed to Kitten Academy. Let's see. Maybe it's not even part of the series. That's what I said. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it is. I think this is something else entirely. Let's find out. That's not the note. Uh -huh. There's the note. The note says... Hi, Kitten Academy! After Rue loved this toy to death, I set up a price watch and they have finally gone on sale. Sending both the toys and the mouse refills separate packages to restock you. Do whatever you'd like with them. Love, Sia Kona and Nawal. And um, I guess I knew this was coming because we got the refills like two weeks yeah. ago. And then we just now got so this these. This is the thing that you got all of those boxes were. Right? Yes. I thought that all three of these boxes were going to contain the Go Cat, Go Cat, Cat Catcher. Cat Catcher. There's four of them. Four. And I think, as you know, it's not just Rue that has loved them. Uh, we now know that Magnolia loses her mind over these things. Maggie totally loses her mind about these things. So uh, we will definitely get great use out of these. Thank you so much. These are fantastic toys. I, I will say this. I said this last time that these came up on the stream, and I'll say it again just to be safe. Uh, if you have a cat, you need to get some of these, but do not let them play with it alone. You have to be there playing with them and supervising. Don't just leave it out, okay? It can. It's got some little bits in it that could be dangerous to a cat if you leave them alone with it. So keep an eye on it, all right? But definitely get one. They're amazing. And like I said, Magnolia, I, I have to actually distract Magnolia with like a trick or something to get her to let go of it. Uh, it's impossible. It's crazy. So 
I'm going to tuck those into another box so that we don't have quite so many boxes here. Um, but thank you all. Thank you all so much. This is yeah, now I'm just surrounded by boxes yet again, and we're 15 minutes over time, so uh, I'm going to have to run. And uh, we've got to make sure everything's ready for that adoption that's going to happen in an hour or two. So, uh, and maybe possibly get some food in, in the meantime as well. Um, I, have, I have bubble mess on my phone screen, my nice phone screen. Okay, uh, so anyway, one more time. Thank you all. Uh, it's, it's amazing how well you all do for these cats and kittens and just uh, the, the support for them is wonderful and the gifts that get to go home with them are the best so I really I couldn't thank you enough but I, I intend to and, uh, just thanks thank you so much okay before I start helping clear out this room I really have to go use the restroom. Oh, is it? It is. So they sent the Lover Mouse, Flavor Fusion, Kazmac also sent a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let me get my Diet Coke so that you don't actually knock it over. Well, you get up. I'll be back in just a minute and help clear out this room. You can see that. It made a big impact. Uh, Baba Ganesh is off the train. Yes. Baba Ganesh is off the train.
time today. Kiddos. Uh, this could be effective. I gotta separate these out a little bit. Do you want another box? Maybe that one? No, not right now. Do we? Uh, are we setting one of these aside to go with the other? Stuff out there for you to open. Merry Christmas! Joy, joy, joy. I don't even want to throw out my like, Christmas things. What do I do? Hold what yourself is together. Look at those bags, it's so cute. What do I even do? Yeah, sure.
No, it's not. That's the issue. Go back. If it has an address on it, don't, and we'll just send it. It's his choice. Follow up to him. Is there still, there's still some pumpkin spice latte left, but I think I should cut DJ off. I think maybe she's had enough.
the archive in just a minute, so if you're watching this in the future, this will be pretty close to the end.